Falls are the number one cause of injury in older adults. The good news is that there are several ways we can minimize the risk of falling in our retirement years. Eating right, improving our balance through exercise and physical therapy, and managing our medications, to name a few. But you might be surprised to know that the majority of fall injuries among older people occur inside the home. Today, many older adults are taking a proactive approach. They're making a few basic changes now so that they can stay in their homes for as long as possible into the future. We're here at Touch Mark at the Ranch in Prescott, a full-service retirement community where residents live in beautiful cottage or lodge homes. Joining me are Valerie Williams and Andrew Strimick, occupational therapists from Yavapai Regional Medical Center. We're going to tour these beautiful Touchmark model homes as Andrew and Valerie share some insider tips on how to prevent falls. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. It's good to be here. So Valerie, let's start with you. What is an occupational therapist or OT and how does your work tie in with preventing falls? Sure, an occupational therapist ensures that people recovering from illness or injury can function in all their environments with the abilities they have. We provide clients with the tools they need to optimize their home environment. In short, we work with the individual patient's abilities to help them function as independently and safely as possible. Do you have a general philosophy on how to prevent falls in the home? I do, and I think Andrew would agree it's a combination of common sense and awareness of your surroundings. That sounds great. Let's get started. Here's a good example of being aware of your surroundings. Take a look at the layout of the furniture in your living room. If you have a travel corridor you usually take to get from one room to another, make sure that it's clear. Rearrange your furniture so you're not always bumping into that end table or chair. The same goes for clutter. Get rid of piles of newspapers or magazines, especially in the hallway or near stairs. Make sure electrical cords and other small things are tucked away from where you walk. Finally, look at your carpet and rugs. Are the edges turned up? This is definitely a tripping hazard. Try using rug tape to secure the edges of your rug and keep it in place. And I'd suggest getting rid of small throw rugs entirely. Improving your lighting is one of the easiest things that you can do to prevent falls in your home. It's especially important to light hallways and stairs as they tend to be dark. I typically recommend a 100 watt bulb or higher. Often a 60 watt bulb isn't enough. Some people install glow in the dark light switches in each room and at night be sure to use your night lights or leave a few lights on in case you get out of bed. Sturdy handrails on your stairs are one of the most important features you should have in your home. Of course, to be fully effective, handrails need to be installed properly. If possible, install handrails on both sides of your stairs and make sure they allow continuous holding without any obstacles. Ideally, you want to have the handrail extend beyond the top and bottom stair, and of course, good lighting is very important. Ask an expert to check your handrails. Have them install new ones if needed. And finally, if you have wood stairs, you can apply non-skid surfaces to them to help prevent slipping, and consider contrasting stripes along the edge of each step so you can see them better. The bathroom is where many falls occur in the home. A little bit of extra effort can mean a big difference in safety. We recommend grab bars around the toilet and in the shower or tub. Remember, it's very important to make sure that the grab bars are good quality and are installed properly. Don't rely on a towel bar to support you if you fall. I recommend a grab bar that's one and a quarter inch in diameter with textured grip. Ask an expert to check yours and to install the proper grab bars if needed. If you need added stability while showering or bathing, consider a plastic non-slip shower chair or transfer bench. And remember that a raised toilet seat is an easy solution for sitting and standing at the commode. 
One very easy suggestion for the bathroom is to make sure that you have non-skid decals in your tub and shower. And here's an insider tip. Mesh shelf liners that are used in kitchen cabinets also work well on your shower floor and bath seat. They can be cut to size and are easily clean. Let's move on to the kitchen. First and foremost, make sure the things you use most in your kitchen are within easy reach. Do your best to avoid climbing or reaching. If something is out of reach, use a stable step stool with a handrail. Where is your trash can? The dog bowl. Remember that travel corridor idea I had mentioned earlier? Make sure to clear the path you typically use while walking around your kitchen. Finally, things as simple as cleaning up spills right away, especially on the floor, can make a big difference. You know, I think you're right. Common sense and an awareness of your surroundings are key to preventing falls in your home. Do you have any final thoughts? Yes, we have a few general tips that I think would be helpful for your viewers. First, when you're at home, wear shoes or slippers that fit well and stay on your feet. Avoid walking around the house in socks or stockings. If you have a pet, be aware of where they are at all times. As you know, pets can often get underfoot. Do you use oxygen? Be aware of the tubing as it can easily blend in with surroundings, particularly the floor. Always sit and stand slowly. For example, when the doorbell rings, there's no need to jump up and rush to the door. When sitting down, make sure you feel the chair on the back of your legs before sitting. And finally, keep your phone nearby at all times, just in case. Also, if you're one of the many folks who regularly visit the bathroom during the night, consider these tips. Make sure the path between your bed and bathroom is short and free of tripping hazards. Install a nightlight in the bathroom. You can even install a string of lights along the wall to help you see at night. Make sure it's out of the way of your walking path, of course. And if there's a threshold or step into the bathroom, place some bright colored tape on the edge to create contrast. Remember, the Physical Rehabilitation Department at YRMC keeps an updated list of resources such as local contractors, stores, and vendors, as well as home safety checklists. Feel free to call us and we'll be happy to share them with you. You can also go to aarp.org for a downloadable home fit guide with tips for keeping your home safe and comfortable. Thanks again, Valerie and Andrew, for sharing this valuable information with us. And many thanks to Touchmark at the Ranch for their generous hospitality. Be sure to talk with your doctor if you have any concerns that you might be at risk for falling. And remember, a few basic changes now may be the key to staying in your home for as long as possible into the future.